right, let's get this loaded up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, did I have to mention that you have to sit in the back? <laughs> All right, there you are. Plenty of room. See, this is what brothers do for each other. This is called brotherly love. Squeeze yourself right in there. Very nice. So we're going to winterize the engine first and the water strainer is right under the companionway stairs uh, right next to the engine. So I'll get those taken off and we'll uh, take a look at how I winterize this. So this is how I winterize. I'm not saying it's the right way or the only way. It's just the way that I do it. I just take the top off the water strainer. And I pour the antifreeze directly in there and run the engine, which comes right out the aft end, out the exhaust. So I rinsed out the water strainer. That's full of the blue uh, antifreeze slowly lower that basket right in there and close it up apply these two wing nuts and that's it the engine is winterized my boat has two uh, freshwater holding tanks that's the water filter the blue thing there and what I do to winterize, again, guys, please, this is my technique. It's not perfect for everyone. But I have this tank here, right here, and then the entire V-berth is a tank. So what I have down below is an on-off valve here and a second here. So what I'm going to do is go outside and fill this tank up with two gallons of uh, antifreeze, anti-gel, and... That will all run into this tank and then what i'll do is turn the faucets on and get it to suck the water all through that system then i'll turn this valve off and turn the valve on for the feeberth holding tank fill that up with about three gallons and then run the system again and you can see that comes down here and builds up pressure and then comes back up and goes through the system. So that should make sure that all the lines are completely free of water and full of antifreeze, anti-gel. So let's get this done. So this is the starboard tank, filler cap. I'll just take this off. I'll fill it right up with the antifreeze.
and that's it. Turn the system on, and when you see paint come out, this tank is winterized. Well, I'm up here. We're going to fill the Bieber tank as well. Then I'll go down below and we'll run it through the system. The antifreeze that I use in the water system is rated for 50 below. Again, what I use in the engine and in the refrigeration unit is rated for 100 below. So that's really the only difference in the two other than the color. So the blue goes in the engine and the refrigeration system, pink goes in the water system. We'll run that through the system and the water system will be winterized. All right, so we've got it all set up. We'll just turn on the hot water. And when I see pink come out, I'll know we're good. so we've emptied this tank for the most part there's still a little bit left in it so what I'll do now is turn this valve off and now we turn this one on and now we're pulling from the beef so now we'll get a little pink coming out of the hot water That looks really good. Now the cold water. So to winterize the refrigeration unit, I took the filter top off, turned the motor on, and simply pulled, poured the uh, antifreeze that's good for up to 100 below zero. In and when I saw blue come out the uh, through hull, we were done. So very similar to the engine. So now I'll just screw the top of the filter back on and this boat is winterized. And the last step is taking the batteries out. I always take them home and charge them. So back here in the aft cabin, I've already pulled part of the cushion back. You just take this off, and the batteries are right underneath. All right, so you get the gist of it. I just take these wires off, pull these two batteries out, and the boat's winterized. Pretty simple. It's all winterized. Let's head over to the grab and go sandwich shop. And the bikini sandwich in here is amazing. 
all fresh food. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hit the grab and go. Phenomenal. Avocado, tomato, turkey, cheese, cheese of your choice, and a little mayonnaise on wheat bread or whatever bread you choose. Good stuff. What'd you order, Todd? So I got the Speedo, which is corned beef and a horseradish sauce. It's supposed to be really good. She said it's a big favorite here. So at the grab and go with Toledo Marina. Looking forward to it. Take a bite. Let's see. <clears throat> Great. After this, uh, we run up to the Sandbar Grill and uh, get a cold beer, eh? Sounds good.